Salutations, Rainbow Rangers. I'm MJ. Welcome into a dream. I read on the description for Steam that this is actually a very dark game. And I did put a disclaimer at the very beginning. So if anybody decides that they want to click off now, because it might be a trigger, that would be best for everyone's mental health. This does deal with depression. And the demo should be slated to release later this year. I put the link in the description if you want to try and play it yourself. So here we go, start new game. They mentioned that you need a graphics i5 Intel at the minimum. Guess what we're doing, guys? We're stretching. We're stretching the graphics card again. Go us. I. What is this place? Where am I? It's so green. Which is weird, considering we're, you know, seeing gray. All right, see to chatter, I guess. All right, we're walking. We're wa oh, is this kind of platformy? I am terrible at platforms. Keep walking, we're walking. Shift. Alright, shift. Ah, uh, shift and. Oh, oh dear, shift. I, I promise I'm not stupid. Shift. Plus? Oh no, I did nothing. Double click. And shift. Shift and... Hmm. Shift and what? Oh god. You guys are going to think I'm an idiot. I promise I'm not. I promise I'm not stupid. What? I'm pressing shift. Shift in what? Shift in two arrows? I'm using the keys. Shift, I'm using the arrow keys. Okay, left, right, shift, I'm holding shift while well, my shift button's not working properly. Shift, something's gotta happen here. Shift in what? Alright, I'll just keep, I'll just keep walking. Maybe that'll just go away at some point. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that was actually meant for anything. Okay. C plus arrows? Alright, yeah, that, that works. C plus arrow? Sp oh. I drowned! I drowned almost right away! Alright, C plus arrows. C plus arrows. Alright. Cool. No. Why didn't you jump? Oh, God. I suck at platformers. Okay. What's really ironic about that is that I got started on platformers. Super Mario Brothers, N64, Sonic. I started with all of that. I jumped right into the water. You're fine, Marissa. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, MJ. You can do it. I believe in you. Thanks, generic mother number one. As I keep falling into a pit. No, it's just, just depressing to watch. How could I be so bad at platformers when that's how I got my start? You know what? I'll get this. Alright, jump over and jump. Aha! Aha! Victory. The small ones. Wait, to... To John. Ah. Uh, to John. Okay. See? 
a radio. Oh, no, no wait, signal here. seems to look? There's no signal here. It also seems to read those old cassettes, but there's none inside. Now, they're supposed to be talking, and I'll be honest with you, I did three or four test runs to see if, you know, the audio is too low or if I'm too high. I still don't think it's right, to be honest with you, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, I was supposed to pick that up with C. So C is to basically grab things. Maybe C again? Hello, John. My name is Dr. James Richards, and this is Dr. Colomay. Hello, okay. John. If you are hearing this, it means that the initial procedure went perfectly. We have linked your mind to the dream of a man named Luke Williams. As for your body, it is being kept safe, here, close to us. Luke has been diagnosed with severe depression. We have attempted several incursions into his dreams. The roots of his current state of depression are buried quite deep. This is where you come in, John. You see, you volunteered to help us with this one. We need to remind you that your own memories are inaccessible during the entire operation. It means that you won't remember who you are, nor recall these events after it all ends. But, whatever you do or do not remember, know this. We accepted your offer because you are the best in the field. John, your job is to track Luke and liberate him from whatever oppressive thought is weighing down on him. Set him free, John. You don't have much time. The longer he stays under, the easier it will be for him to fade away. Time to get to work, John. You are his last hope. And his only one. I would wish you luck, but I doubt you need any of it. We'll be monitoring you closely and retract you instantly if the situation spirals out of control. One last thing. We will be out of contact for the duration of your mission. The technology is not quite fully mature yet. Right then. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm? I? What? What's happening here? What are you talking about? Wait, what the... What in God's name is going on? Whoa! Okay, so that was a lot of information right up front. Am I walking? Oh, I am walking. Okay. The, at the atmosphere is really interesting. That's a person. Well, might Hello. be a person. Oh, good evening. Isn't it a little late for someone your age to be out all alone? Oh, our house is right over there. And you know, there are no dangerous creatures, not in these woods. No wolves, bears, or even foxes. And my dad is right there at the bridge. I didn't know anyone lived this deep in the woods. Oh, but we don't. This is our vacation house. Mom and Dad built it a couple of years ago. I love it out here. But I had no idea there were other houses around. Where is yours? About 30 minutes away, I don't live here. So you can pick different options too. This is kind of like a learning session for me. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, I don't live here. Well, I don't live here. I'm uh, on a hike. That's a good exam. That's a good excuse. Oh, cool! All by yourself. Oh. Where's your equipment? My tent's ten minutes away. I was just exploring. 
I so wish to grow up so I can have fun adventures like yours. Well, what about you? What are you doing here, all alone, sitting on this wooden swing? Oh, you know, I love sitting here. My daddy and I built it. He attached these ropes to a branch on this tree and told me to find a wooden seat. I found this one by the waterfall. It fit perfectly. It, I love building stuff with my dad and this is my favorite construction. Well, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. It really looks well built and fun. just watching the stars on your spot? Yes. Well, and you know, waiting for Rufus. Rufus? Yes, you know, my dog. My parents gave him for Christmas two years ago. He's so lovely and little and energetic. And, uh, where's Rufus now? Oh, he sometimes wanders off by himself in the woods. You know, these woods are very, very safe. We put some light around his collar, so he got even more excited than usual. Hmm. Aren't you worried he might get lost? than an hour, I think. Can, can I ask you a big favor? Could you please get him back here if you happen to see him? Okay, sure. Shouldn't you be asking your dad? You know, that would be a good, that would be favorable. Well, shouldn't you be telling your dad to go looking for him? Oh, but he gets so mad. Please, if you talk to him, don't say anything about Rufus. Hmm. I won't. Don't worry, I'll do my best. But if I'm not able to find him... Thank you, thank you. For most of the duration of that entire conversation, I did not have to press the C key. And because what ended up happening was that I was cutting them off mid sentence, so I had to let it run through and play through. And I couldn't adjust or change the speed because it might, me might miss something important. So there's. That. <laughs> oh, that must be her father. Hello, neighbor. Oh, my. I. Uh, hello there. Sorry, uh, I haven't seen anyone hereabouts in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and for coming out of nowhere straight from the dark. I'm John Stevens. I'm on a hike. I wanted to borrow a plaster. Okay, no. A hike. Stay consistent. I was just taking a night stroll in the wilderness when I spotted some bright lights ahead. checking them out. I wasn't aware anyone lived here. Ah, 
Well, this is our country house, so to speak. We live in the city, but often come here on weekends and holidays. It's quite peaceful. Oh, indeed. I'm Luke, by the way. Luke Williams. Oh! Nice to meet you, Luke. Is that your daughter? I, yes, that's Anne. She's always up late playing with that little devil. Little devil? <laughs> that's what we call our dog. He simply loves the woods and Anne loves playing with him out here. So we just let her play on until late. I see. Aren't you afraid she might get injured or something? Well, kids should be able to fall, get some bruises and have fun in the wild. And this neck of the woods is as calm and uneventful as you would like. And besides, we can't protect our kids forever, although as parents we always try to. They're part of us, aren't they? Do you have children? No, I don't. I, I guess the opportunity never arose. It still might. Anyway, um, where are you staying? In a tent? Yes, it's about a quarter of an hour from here. I'm staying for a couple of days. I intend to just do some walking in the woods. Right then. Well, if you need anything, food, medicine, or just company, um, drop in any time. You know where we are. You're so kind, Luke. I'll probably pass here to say hello a couple of times. See you later. Okay. So that's been taken care of. I'm actually really surprised that we met Luke and his daughter right away. But considering the severity of his depression from what the doctors are telling me, I'm wondering if something d terrible doesn't happen. Theories later, play now! Aw, that's cute. Little sparkle pixie fairies. Oh, oh, yep. That's right, it's a platform. Good to know. Hold shift. You can pull yourself up. Oh. Boy. Wee. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. Uh, really? <laughs> really? Okay. Oh. Oh, you actually have to make him swing and kick his legs out and everything? That's kind of a cool mechanic. Yep, oh, almost. And... That should do it! Yes! Every move you make, that is super, super cool, actually. Alright, in and out. In and out. In and out. You're a boy on a swing. In and out. In and out. And skadoosh. Ah, yeah. Top waterfall and lake. I think we should explore both places, to be honest. Both. 
preferably. All right. Well, that is. We're gonna go ahead and stop there. Let's see, escape settings. Enter. Oh, graphics cool. Resolution cool. Resume. Uh, go to main menu. Save and quit. Awesome. So far, interesting premise. Uh, can't control the speed of the dialogue, so it kind of, in the dialogue, the pauses are a little odd, but that's just me being picky. I had no idea this was based in England. As well, there'll be a part two to this. What's bad about it? Ah, uh, I think the voiceover is a little low. I, I had to turn up my laptop to 100 to hear them better. What's good about it? Very interesting premise, very interesting mechanics. It is a platform, but it's kind of like more of an adventure platform. So I'm very excited. Now, we will be continuing this in a part two. So peace out, Susan Dudettes. Stay frosty.